All right, so while I've alluded to it uh, at various times, I haven't actually uh, gone and shown it to you guys, so uh, now is about the time to do so. This here is my only complete prototype um, for building this tablet, which uh, you've no doubt seen by now. Um, so it was quite an interesting wee process. Uh, so just sort of trying out all the ideas, and most of them worked pretty well. Um, there are a few things which um, I learned from which um, I did differently. So uh, the first was in the prototype, I've just uh, put a bolt straight through, I've got the nuts at the end, uh, and that all holds it together. But it comes loose very, very easily. It comes loose even just in day-to-day, -day, uh, when it's just sitting there. Each time I pick it up, it'll be loose again. Um, so I ended up putting in these wee grommets, and uh, I still need to tighten them fairly regularly, but um, by comparison, instead of sort of maybe every five minutes or so, it's uh, maybe once a day of heavy use. So that's a whole lot better. If I was serious about stopping it from opening up, I'd put a little bit of glue in there, and uh, I'd put in just enough to stop the things from coming undone, but not so much to actually stop me from uh, opening it up if I need to. Um, another thing that I did differently, I was a little bit disappointed here. Um, you'll see in this one here, I have uh, put in a sort of backlight there to make the electronics sort of shine a little bit. Uh, I really liked that. However, <laughs> I was jamming so much into this one that there just simply wasn't space to do it. Um, I possibly could have done it sort of under here to make it sort of shine up around. Um, I haven't done that at this stage, uh, but you never know, I might in the future. One of the other things is that I went for a green theme here, which worked very well with um, all the circuitry and everything. Um, here I've gone for a blue theme, uh, because it was something I was going to use much more often, so it uh, works well for me. Um, but uh, that doesn't uh, blue doesn't interact very nicely with the green um, of the circuitry. Um, having said that, it might actually make the contacts shine up more, which could actually be quite an interesting look. So I haven't ruled that out uh, for doing some time in the future, but at the moment it's not a high priority. What else have I done differently? One of the... actually... okay, right, I need to show you that. Okay, so you'll see here that there are a couple of holes um, in here, which might seem a little bit strange. Um, what that was is, um, here is the original touchpad from um, the, the notebook, that, the netbook that this originally came from. Let's just remove that dust there, just to make it look a bit more professional, eh? Now, I made a little mistake as I was uh, positioning everything, and the cable that uh, came with it was just a teeny bit too short. And so I thought, well, I've come this far, I may as well keep going, and this is my prototype after all, so I can make a mess and uh, see what happens. So I decided to see if I could have a go at soldering onto the back of this um, thing directly to extend this connection. Somewhere along the lines, I didn't succeed. I don't know whether it's in my connection here, because it, it turns out it's actually very hard to solder to one of these cables. Um, or if it's because um, one of my connections is dodgy in here, but in, somewhere along the way I didn't succeed. But the idea was that it was going to sit... Uh, I think I finally decided on sending it that way, and then the, um, and another piece of fluff, sorry. I was going to uh, send it that way, have the cable running back over here, um, and then I was going to have a button um, here, which you would uh, click on. When I got this, it didn't come with a keyboard. So, uh, I had a go using the Asus EE one. Um, I wanted to see if that would work. Um, it's got the same connection, but the keys aren't bound in the same way. Um, they're very, very different. It's not like a little bit different and you can make do. It's very, very different. Um, and so it just wasn't a goer. Um, if I was really serious about getting this old netbook uh, to work, I would um, go and uh, make a table mapping out what all the keys are and uh, have a go at getting it to go there. Um, 
if I try and pl plug in a USB mouse or a USB keyboard, it asks for a driver. And so, therefore, without any form of mouse, without any form of keyboard, um, I'm not really getting any further forward. Now, we'll notice that the edging uh, just dimmed there, um, and it dimmed with the display. And that's because I've got, um, I've used the power for the backlight for the display to light up the uh, front panel. That means that there's only one connection I need to disconnect to remove this front panel of the uh, tablet uh, from the rest of the tablet. You'll also notice if you compare these two tablets that uh, on the prototype I have the LEDs on the bottom whereas on the uh, final one I put them on the side. The reason for that is if you have a look at the way it sits there, it's actually sitting on these um, on these LEDs. It means it doesn't sit smooth and um, it also means that it's going to break um, under regular use. If you have a look at the switch here, um, here I ended up... How did I connect that? If I remember rightly, um, that switch I uh, soldered directly to the motherboard. No, that can't be right. Let's find out. So we'll turn this off. Okay, so I thought, well, I, I can't remember the answer to my own question. So uh, rather than speculate, let's go and find out. So you see the whole thing opens up quite nicely. Oh, goodness. Okay, right. So as you can see, this is really rather convenient because I only have to remove one plug to be able to remove this panel altogether. I made sure there was lots of slack um, in there so it was easy to take apart like this. That's something I haven't done as well with the final one because the uh, there was just so much stuff I had to cram in there that there wasn't much room to put all the wires in. Notice on these USB connections, I've actually marked which is the positive side and which is the negative side. If you're regularly working with them, you probably memorize them, but uh, it was just something that uh, was very nice for me for uh, since I don't work with them very often. So the question that I was trying to answer was here's the power switch. How is that hooked up? And uh, that's actually hooked up with um, with the LCD driver board. Also the speakers are there as well. Um, so there's quite a lot happening um, in these cables here. So you can see here that is the um, LED which is uh, lighting up the uh, circuit board when it's turned on. And that is piggybacking off the LCD backlight as is the LED which is lighting up this uh, front panel. What else can I tell you about this? Um, I thought the way I mounted the uh, battery was quite interesting. It's literally just hanging off a couple of rubber bands and then the power is just uh, plugged in at the end here and I quite liked that solution actually. It, uh, it runs very nicely. Oh yeah, that's right and, mouse, uh, right and left mouse buttons uh, here, so left and right. Uh, those are left and right mouse buttons um, for the old trackpad, but considering that doesn't go, those aren't in use anymore, but these LEDs do work. Yeah, I like the way this uh, this mounting works. It's a little sloppy. I think probably if I was to take this seriously, um, I'd probably double up the rubber bands there. I'd possibly also put in some padding here uh, on either side of the battery to make sure that it's not uh, ramming into things. But in my experiments it seemed to uh, work very nicely. Um, you can see here the um, the LED. It's just taking power off the USB thing. I've just got a resistor in there. I forget how big how big that resistor is, but um, it's uh, basically taking the five volt uh, power from the USB and using running the LED off it. Notice that it is uh, stealing it, and that uh, USB port can still be used. Um, it is there is potential that that will actually interfere with some devices because they will say, hey, they, they negotiate with the operating system. They say, hey, I want this much power, and then it gives that much power. Um, and if it's right on the edge of what it's asked for, then um, taking a little bit off for an LED um, could be a problem. In reality, I haven't used this enough to really give a valid observation um, about it. Um, I certainly haven't seen any problems, but... Uh, I suspect if I used a lot of the devices I would, but that needs to be solved. We've got two more ports that we can use. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on. Oh, now this is something to look at here. You'll notice it's slightly wobbly, and that's from ages of me tightening up the nuts every now and then. So you notice that here is the, this side is the high point, whereas this side is the wobbly side. 
So what we want to do is we want to choose one side, uh, one corner to do up. Uh, so it's going to raise up to the, other, the height of the others. This one here has less room to spare than this side, so I'm going to raise this side up with difficulty. I'm trying to do it so you can see. That's much closer. I'm going to just do it another couple of turns. There we go, let's do that. Almost there. Let's bring up this other side a little bit now. There we go, so that's all solid now. I haven't bothered putting grommets on this because I don't ever take it out of the house. Um, so there's not really any need to make it better, it just sort of sits there as an ornament now. And, if I am lucky, I should now be able to turn this on. Look at that. Actually one note that's worth uh, mentioning is that it is worth unplugging the battery when you're not using it. Um, just so that the battery doesn't get uh, run down. Um, if, they, if it gets into a, a flat state, uh, that is not particularly good for them. Are you ready? I'd take that as a yes. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, yeah, if you've done something similar, post a link. I would say a video response, but those are gone now. So uh, yeah, um, see you guys soon.